Welcome back to another Out of the Park 23 video. Uh, this video, I'm going to go over game settings that I'm planning to use for Out of the Park 23. Uh, game settings are really where a lot of the customization uh, for Out of the Park comes into play. Uh, even here in just a standard game that I'm creating, uh, you can really customize so much about your league. And you're going to be, you're going to go to game and then game settings. And you start here under global settings. Uh, the first thing I do is I change the overall and potential rating also to 20 to 80. Um, so it's in the same uh, format as the ratings, uh, the scouting ratings. I'll show you what I mean. Here we've got Joey Votto. You see how these are 20 to 80 scale, which is the baseball scouting slash rating scale. It changes the overall and potential to that as well, where 50 is average. Um, instead of just being the stars. Now, uh, you know, I don't, it, I, I mentioned this more in depth in other videos, just about how I don't use the overall and potential all that much. It's kind of a good approximator if you have a large pool of players, uh, but stats and these rates, more specific ratings here are going to be uh, much better to evaluate players off of when you're evaluating individual players um, or small groups of players. So that's the first thing that uh, I, I take a look at. I then also go down here and I will check GM users. Um, GM only users are always in control of lineups and hiring. Uh, that means even if I get a manager that uh, does not allow me to control the lineups, this overrules that, which uh, I'm a big fan of because I always want to control my lineups and my long-term sims. Auto save and log settings over here. This will really help control the size of your file, your save. So. Um, now autosave, I would recommend once a week or once a month. I normally do once a month box scores. Uh, I don't need that from all leagues. I don't need it from even the entire major leagues. I just want it from my team. Um, game recaps, I don't really need. Uh, the, the win graphs, the win probability graphs, I don't need those. I turn those off. Uh, save game logs, uh, I normally do, yeah, I think I keep that human teams. Replays, I do none. Uh, generate highlights for none, save 3D movements, none. Um, so yeah, so sometimes I will um, keep some of these, but not normally. Uh, so that's what I do under the global settings. Um, next, under players and face gen, uh, you have a few things that I change. Uh, I do the show personality ratings on the profile page. Hello, there we go. Uh, so to show you what that does here, we got Joey Votto and see now it says, now it has all this uh, personality stuff here. Captain, leader, blah, 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 you know, work ethic. Uh, somebody being a captain uh, or young players who have high work ethic and intelligence, those are good things to know as well as some other traits. So I like to have that right on the page. Uh, I'm not sure why that's not a default to be honest. And then here's where you get into some fun stuff, uh, aging speed, development speed. So last year in my sim, uh, my Phillies long-term sim was the first time that I had messed with aging speed uh, and I put it at 0.8 uh, but it was too slow for my liking so I think this year I'm gonna put it at 0.9 I think the game does a pretty good job with aging speed uh, but I just like my favorite players to stick around a little longer uh, talent change randomness also known as TCR I have not really messed with this much but I think I am gonna mess with it a little this year uh, basically what this does is it'll give you more like Justin Turner's guys who just pop up out of nowhere uh, or maybe like more Ryan Howard's guys who just kind of fall off a cliff. Um, you know, the talent change will become more random. And I think that reflects Major League Baseball now, especially with guys uh, who come onto the scene, right? Because there's some player development now is not something you just do in the minor leagues. Guys are tweaking things all the time. They're going to drive line, um, you know, they're changing their launch angle. Look at like what Christian Yelich did when he learned to lift the ball more. He went from a good player with the Marlins to an MVP candidate with the Brewers. Not not necessarily anymore, but um, just in one season, he really did that. He became a pretty good, he was a solid player and he became an MVP candidate because he learned to hit the ball in the air more. So TCR, I think, can kind of mimic things like that. Uh, I think I'm going to, you know, I know some people play this way higher, the people who do tweak it, 125, 150. Uh, I think 110 is what I'll start with and see how I like it. Uh, let's see. I don't really mess with these. Your mileage may vary. Uh, face gen, none. Uh, let's see. I don't really mess with this, but uh, 
you know, you could you could mess with this if you wanted just the face gen. I just kind of leave it. Um, there's so much in this game that you customize. I just kind of like punt on some things. Like sure. Uh, also, I disable baseball cards because that uh, slows down the save and uh, increases your file size. Um, don't mess with anything down. I don't mess with anything down here. AI settings is your trade difficulties and your AI player evaluation. If you're just starting, maybe leave this here. But I think after you play it for a few weeks, try bumping it up. I think the I think the uh, baseline trade difficulty um, is a little easy to be honest. So I normally go four. I, I'm going to go four above and one towards favors prospects. Ratings weight. This is how the AI is going to evaluate players. I think this puts too much on scouting with ratings um, and not enough on player performance relative to real life. I normally go 45 for scouting, so it's still the lead thing, uh, but it this is basically makes it uh, 55 based off of stats ba combined, the last three years combined uh, and ratings weight 45%. I leave this alone. I should Maybe I should make it sabermetric because that's more much more realistic today's game, but I've never really uh, messed with that too much. Uh, Almanac, I don't change anything. Online league, I, d I don't play in. Database, I don't p mess with. Um, league settings. You can do all kinds of things here, like change the schedule. You can expand the league. You can have fantasy draft, uh, a bunch of things. I don't mess with that. Uh, this is where you can realign your league, which I have done before. I'll see if I do it this year. I, I kind of liked it, my Philly save when I realigned it. Um, and I think it was just an American league and a national league and no divisions, I believe is what I went with, which which I like. I, I might do that again, but that's where you can do this. Rules. Uh, I generally leave this alone. Uh, I leave the Otani rule on. Uh, I leave the min batter's face by a reliever. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do with extra innings. I think I might just make that spring games only. I haven't made up my mind. Uh, I don't mind it as a viewer of the game, you know, because normally if you're watching an extra inning games, it's like 10 or 10.30 local time, right? So I don't mind them wrapping it up uh, sooner. Uh, but in a game like this where, you know, it's, I would prefer, all things equal, I would prefer the actual baseball to continue, but all things are not equal when it's 10.30 on a work night. Uh, but when I'm just playing a computer game and I can control when it ends, I think I'd prefer no extra no runner on second to start extra innings but we'll see uh here's you can change a bunch of roster rules i generally leave this alone um i don't think there's really anything here that i change regularly i've tweaked different things just messing around but i don't think in any uh regular summit expanded initial rosters i'll probably keep that off um i allow the trading of injured players uh, I don't allow waiver trades or draft pick trading. I leave that at average. Um, I will be changing the amateur draft date to June uh, because of the fact that I want um, my players that I draft to have a full season of minor league baseball in rookie ball. Or if they make it up to high, you know, have a couple months. But I want, I don't want my, it to be like late June in my, or late July. My guys are just starting. So, um, and maybe maybe they've tweaked the rookie ball schedules. I can't remember uh, this season what it is, but so that's why that's why I like to I just like to have it earlier. Um, this, it was also pointed out to me, thank you, William, that this also allows you to going into the trade deadline or the month of July when you might be making more uh, deadline-ish acquisitions. How much money you have left to spend, right? Because you know how much you spend at the draft. Um, I'll leave the twenty rounds. Uh, I'll leave all this alone. You know, I don't really change any of this. I don't allow trades. Uh, I have I haven't really dug into the draft lottery enough to know if I want to change this. But the draft lottery reveal on it, at the winter meeting sounds great to me. Sounds great. Uh, financials I don't change. I leave that alone. Uh, options I think for the most part I will turn off most automatic evolution. Like all these things I undo when they do them. Uh, I'll leave team nickname change, re relocation expansion, everything else I undo. I normally relate, uh, rename my awards. Uh, like I, I call this the gold glove, silver slugger, uh, what, what they actually are in real life. Uh, I don't change anything for the Hall of Fame or milestones. Uh, I generally don't change spring training. Sometimes I make it six weeks. I've done that before. And let's see. I don't change anything with... Uh, with the all-star game i have changed playoffs before but i think i'll leave that alone they still have break ties with tiebreaker games check here which is not how major league is working at this year uh so yeah so that's all i do for that uh players this is an interesting one 
uh, international free agents, I've tried like every different thing here. I think I'm going to do more. Uh, I'm going to keep the hard cap. I don't know. I kind of want to undo the hard cap. Uh, I wish that uh, I wish that you could like have slot amounts or things. You know, I wish it worked differently in that the best players didn't always go for the absolute cap. Um, so yeah, I think I'll go more. Leave the hard cap probably. Um, international scouting discoveries. These are normally international amateurs. Uh, I like to bump this up to more uh, above the default. I like to do 20. But then the established international free agents, I do very few. I, I don't like a lot of those. I might even put it on none. Um, same thing with free agents from uh, independent leagues. I do very few of them. Uh, leave, I leave this alone. Here's historical. I don't change anything there. Stats and AI. Uh, the main thing I change here on the right is this is just the run environment that you want for your league. Um, I have in the past few years changed it to 2016 or 2017 because uh, I think that's modern baseball with a lot of three true outcomes, but not quite as exaggerated as, as it's become uh, the last half a decade or so. So you can see here 1.219 home runs and 1.151 strikeouts if you leave it alone. So somebody remember that because I'm not going to. 1.2 one and 1.15 so if i were to go to 2016 um let's see what it goes see i, I already i already forget those numbers so um but it's going to be lower i promise the the home runs and the strikeouts um so the home runs if you do 2016 is 1.043 and 0.966 i've also played with 2017 which is a little closer to uh 2021 baseball I think 2020 is when it peaked the home run. So I, you know, well, who knows if it's a peak, but I think 2021 was lower. Um, so you can see here 1.238 and 1.018. So the 1.238 is actually, is that higher? 1.238. I'm saying it so I remember it. 1.238 people. That's the number we're looking for. <laughs> Uh, here it comes, here it comes. 1.23. Oh, it is higher. Wow. So 2017 actually has more home runs, but I think fewer strikeouts. So I don't know. I don't know what I'll do. Uh, but I normally, I normally tweak it down a little bit, but maybe I'll just leave it at modern day baseball for this year and I don't change any of this stuff. So that's what I do for game settings. Um, I would encourage you if you're watching this video and you have certain settings that you really like, please leave it in the comments. Uh, cause I think this is a... Um, something where people play this game all kinds of different ways. And I've learned things since making these videos. People have suggested some of the, these things I'm telling you that I do. It's because people have been like, oh, we'll try it this way. I like it because of blah, 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 blah. I'm like, oh, cool. I do like that, actually. So please feel free um, to leave your suggestions here uh, or leave, you know, kind of how you do it and why or why you don't do certain things. Also, if you want more content like this, you can check out the description of this video, uh, my Patreon page. Anyways, I appreciate, um, as always, I appreciate you guys watching. I appreciate you interacting, commenting, etc. Uh, and I will talk to you in the next video.